right, all right, all right. Welcome back to No Filter MMA. This is your boy BJ back with another video short. Guys, I am planning on doing po doing a post fight tonight with Taylor. So look forward to that. We're going to talk about a championship fight and the, the co-main event. Robert Whitaker whooping Paolo Costa's ass. We're going to talk about it all. But I'm here to talk about Mackenzie Dern versus Amanda Lemos. I want to start this video off by saying, put some fucking respect on Mackenzie Dern's name. Put some respect on Mackenzie Dern's name, okay? Because Mackenzie Dern belonged in that fight. She 100% belonged in that fight, and she belongs at the top of that division. It's just that's just how it is. It just it is what it is. That's where she that's where she belongs. Sorry guys, there's some sirens going past me here. But let's talk about this fight. So round one comes out. You got Mackenzie Dern coming out with a ton of pressure. Ton of pressure on Amanda Lemos. Amanda Lemos using good footwork, you know what I'm saying, uh, evading the big shots from Mackenzie Dern because Mackenzie Dern came out throwing big shots. Like, she came out throwing, trying to hurt Lemos because she. I think that Mackenzie Dern knew that if she touched Lemos, Lemos can go down. You know, you know so I think <clears throat> Mackenzie Dern came out super aggressive, uh, you know, trying to find, trying to find her mark. Um, and... Amanda Lemos just utilized good foot. I'm sorry, I only watched this fight one time, but um, Amanda Lemos just utilized great footwork. You know, move, moving. Uh, you know, throwing that that that. You know, attacking Mackenzie Dern's lead leg. She chewed up Mackenzie Dern's leg, and that's one adjust. That's another adjustment that I think Mackenzie Dern needs to. Um, you know, she needs to not be so heavy on that front leg. She doesn't need to sit that front leg out there. You know, because Mackenzie Dern, like, that's the thing. And that's another thing about Dern, you know what I'm saying? Dern will stand, you know, and the reason I'm saying this is because, you know, if Mackenzie Dern is going to be willing to stand out there and trade, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, she's going to have to be more defensively sound with the lead leg because the last couple of fights, her lead leg has been chewed up. But Mackenzie Dern, man, will stand and trade. She, she is not afraid of anybody. It doesn't matter how dangerous you are. Mackenzie Dern is not afraid to stand in front of you and trade. Like, she's not afraid of it. Huge heart and guts for Mackenzie Dern. You know, just a banger. But um, Mackenzie, you know, was having a hard time finding Amanda Lemos in round one. And then out of nowhere, as the, you know, toward the end of, you know, the second half of the round, Mackenzie Dern shoots this beautiful Beautiful. I mean, why hasn't she been doing this the whole time? Mackenzie Dern shoots this beautiful power double. I mean, it was it was fast. It's Mackenzie Dern in that moment looked like an Olympic wrestler. Why hasn't Mackenzie Dern been doing it? Look at how it worked for Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie Dern shot that double, that that power double drives Amanda Lemos to the fence and controls Amanda Lemos for the second half of the first round. Gets that power double, takes her down, and, and, and lands some good ground to pound, was positionally dominating Amanda Lemos. You know what I'm saying? Positionally dominating Amanda Lemos as a result of getting top position from that beautiful power double that she shot. And I just want to I just want to knock on Mackenzie's head and say, Mackenzie, why aren't why haven't you been doing that? That's what we need from Mackenzie Dern is those those takedowns. That that power double was beautiful. She ducked, she timed it perfectly. You know what I'm saying? She got Amanda Lemos thinking striking. Okay, Mackenzie Dern is gonna strike. And Mackenzie Dern ducks under Amanda Lemos's hook, grabs the, that double leg, and drives her to the to the to the floor. And I'm just like, wow, oh my God, why hasn't she been doing this? And Mackenzie Dern dominates, lands some good ground and pound on Amanda Lemos, mauls Amanda Lemos for the rest of the first round. So then as we move into the second round, you got Mackenzie Dern still getting that lead leg chewed up, you know, and then, you know, some some good exchanges in there. Amanda Lemos still being evasive as she was in the first round. And the next thing you know, wapaya. And, I, and it's not, listen, Amanda Lemos lands this beautiful punch. She lands this. But it wasn't because Mackenzie Dern was being defensively irresponsible. You know what I'm saying? You can be defensively, you know, her Mackenzie Dern's defense improved tremendously in this fight. It improved tremendously in this fight. 
and Mackenzie Dern. But but you're gonna get hit. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get hit. Amanda Lemos is a is a, is a, is a sniper. You're gonna get hit. And Mackenzie Dern got hit. So you know, and she got hit hard. And Mackenzie Dern goes down. Like she I mean she doesn't go down, but she gets hurt and she turns away and it gets dicey in there for a second for Mackenzie Dern. Guys, I know I'm not being super technical with this post fight because I've only watched the fight once. So I'm trying to play it back as best as I remember it. But Mackenzie Dern gets hurt. She turns away. You know what I'm saying? She goes, you know, uh, she goes down. Amanda Lemos is on top, landing good ground and pound. And then, uh, you know, and then, you know, Mackenzie starts to, Mackenzie ends up in a decent position on the ground because she starts to work her jujitsu. Her jujitsu was very effective in this fight. Her jujitsu was very, this is probably some of the most effective positional, positional jujitsu that I've seen Mackenzie Dern utilize, you know what I'm saying? And in, in, in a lot, in her, in a lot of her last few fights. So, you know, Mackenzie Dern is, is working. She ends up on top again at the last, last bit of the round, you know what I'm saying? And I gave I gave round one to Dern and I gave round two to to Amanda Lemos. And then the round's over. Mackenzie Dern's busted up, uh, her eyes busted up, and you know. And I'm thinking, oh God, Mackenzie Dern is starting to wilt. Like you know, I hope she doesn't wilt under this pressure. You know what I'm saying? Because you know she's taking a lot of you know she took a lot of damage in round two. You know I'm like I hope she doesn't you know start to wilt. And then Mackenzie Dern comes out in round three before the round starts, hyping up the crowd. She's ready. I'm like, oh shit. Mackenzie Dern is ready to fucking go. She's ready to go. She's ready to go. So Mackenzie Dern comes out again, stands right in front of Amanda Lemos, shows no fear of Amanda Lemos whatsoever. Stands right in front of her. And the next thing you know, well, boom. I don't care what you say about Mackenzie Dern. Her hands are effective. When Mackenzie Dern finds that, when she finds that punch, when she finds that punch, she finds that punch, and she not sat. I don't. People want to say, "Oh, it was a not. It was a, a. She was off balance." No, 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 no. No, we're not gonna take that away from Mackenzie Dern. No, I meant she knocked Amanda Lemos down. That was a clean knockdown from a beautiful overhand right from Mackenzie Dern. You know, and Mackenzie Dern sits her down and dominates Amanda. Le- jumps on top of her and dominates Amanda Lemos for the majority of round three. You know, and, you know, Amanda Lemos was in uh, horrible positions. You know what I'm saying? Mackenzie Dern was trying to lock things up, landing some good ground and pound. And Mackenzie Dern came out and dominated round three. So, um, but, you know, Mackenzie Dern loses this fight. She loses this fight. You know, a lot of people feel like Mackenzie Dern was robbed. You know what I'm saying? But Mackenzie Dern, listen, listen. Mackenzie Dern absolutely deserved to be there. And for Mackenzie Dern to lose the way that she lost against Jessica Andrade and then come out here and perform like that, we got to put some fucking respect on Dern's name. We got to put some respect on Dern's name. I'm I'm pretty sure me and Taylor are going to talk more about this tonight, but I did want to put a post fight out there just to to chit chat and let you guys know how I was feeling after the fight. But I couldn't be more proud of Mackenzie Dern, man. You know, but she has to stick with those double legs, those power double leg takedowns that she showed us last night. She has to stick with that. That is the the move that she has to make if she wants to be effective, because we've seen that once she gets these girls down, once she gets these girls down, she can dominate them. And she's very strong in the positions, you know, like Mackenzie Dern can be very effective. And I'm and, and, and I think we notched forward in this fight. I think she notched forward as far as developing in this fight. And people are like, oh, can Mackenzie Dern get to a title shot? She absolutely could. She actually, she absolutely could get to the title. She absolutely could. If she continues on this trajectory with the sharp hands and the power double leg takedowns and getting these fighters to the ground and bringing these people into her world and using her hands effectively to, you know, to get people down. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyways, guys, let me know how you feel about this fight. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop the comments in the comment section. Hit the like, hit the dislike. And if you guys haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And your boy is out. No, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I want to say it again. Mackenzie Dern belonged in this fight. This fight was competitive. Amanda Lemos, you could say she's, you know, the elite part of the division. And Mackenzie Dern had made that fight very, very competitive. Very, very competitive, guys. Very, let's put some respect on her name. I'm really out this time. <laughs>